NBA All-Star Weekend is in the books. Whether you're a 10-time All-Star like Chris Paul, or a first-timer like Trey Young, being a part of an event that celebrates the best players in the world is a big deal. Three years ago, Trey is a senior at Norman North High School. Daniel Dwyer reports a lot has changed for Trey and those closest to him. As the dust settles on NBA All-Star Weekend in Chicago, it was a whirlwind experience for Oklahoma native Trey Young. The former Sooner not only made his All-Star Game debut, but was a starter at that. Trey saying it was a dream come true, and for his family, who was there every step of the way, they say it was a weekend they'll never forget. From the Atlanta Hawks, they call him Ice. We also know him as Trey Young. Now I can say I'm an all-star. It, it was fun playing uh, with all the best players in our league, um, being on the same floor with them. Uh, tonight was, I mean, was, I mean, unreal. Uh, it was a great, great feeling, great night for me, and um, some, a night I'll never forget. Before Trey heard his name announced in the 69th NBA All-Star Game, there was a lot more that went into the weekend. How are you feeling going into tomorrow? From interviews to practice, to private events with brands like Adidas. It was a busy weekend that can be summed up in one word. It's surreal. Um, being around, I mean, some of my idols that I, I looked up to, um, being around my family, uh, having everybody here to support me, um, being able to represent Atlanta has been uh, an unreal week, week, weekend. And um, it's going to take the things that I learned and, and take it uh, Take it back to Atlanta and try to finish out the season strong. And the former Sooner shined in his debut, having a double-double night, 10 points and 10 assists, and leaving everyone talking about his half-court shot at the buzzer. Young from center court, yes! I, I knew it was going to go in. Uh, just by my luck and the way I was shooting it early on, those type of shots always go in for me, and I'm always mad because the easier ones don't. Uh, so, yeah, it was, it was good. Trey not only creating buzz from the fans, but also getting praise from a Hawks legend. He got that it factor. He got that it factor. The guy got a lot of heart. Uh, he accepted the challenge, and he's got a unique skill set. I mean, everybody look at his scoring, but the best part of his game to me is his court vision, how he makes other people better. And through it all, he had support from his family and friends. From the Rising Stars game to the three-point contest and finally the All-Star game, Trey had over 20 family members in attendance cheering him on. It just creates uh, long-lasting memories and uh, for me, uh, that's all I want to do is just have everybody experience it. And like it was for Trey, the experience was surreal, especially when you consider three years ago to the day he was committing to OU. At the University of Oklahoma. I mean, it just shows how how fast life goes by, how fast time goes by, and uh, I'm just proud that he stayed the course and he's worked hard. And you know, he's not only listened to his parents, but he's listened to these guys that are on the court that he's playing against tonight. It's a journey that's just beginning, and one both Rayford and Candace are proud of. And I'm really proud of him. I know that he's worked hard for his whole life to get to this point, and so to see him fulfill all of the dreams that he's had um, as a young a young kid and then a young adult like it's it's really exciting to see all those come to fruition for him and for Trey there were lessons learned that he'll carry with him the rest of his career just being around these vets and I mean how much they I mean they're always talking being um, I mean trying to get their teammates involved uh, just always talking in the locker room uh, just some of the things and little advice that they were giving me, I'm definitely going to take back. Trey and the Hawks return to action Thursday night when they welcome in the Heat to Atlanta. That game is at 630. Reporting in Chicago, Danielle Dwyer, Fox 25 Sports.